If you've ever traveled I-71 or I-77 on your way to Cleveland, chances are you're bound to see a sign pointing you to this city, Worcester, Ohio. That's where I grew up. I could say it was in Wayne County, but a lot of people in Cleveland think that's in the state up north that I came from Detroit. They probably don't have much respect for Wayne County. It's incredible how many different ways you can get to Worcester. Just slightly off, just off the beaten path. Here's one right here. This is I-71. This is Route 83. This is, you're coming out of Cleveland. You and you're, you might have been traveling I-271 on your way to Columbus. And here you get on I-71 and you cross over I-76. Now, ironically, this used to be State Route 76, and for obvious reasons, they decided to change it. And as soon as you get out the freeway, you see you're in beautiful downtown Burbank. Yes, that was named after the state, after the city in California, home of the NBC and Warner Brothers Studios. And you come down here to Ice Route 83, and although you probably don't see it now, this is where Worcester really begins. It's they got a, they've had a lot of commercial development over the last 30 years they put in a walmart over here and then they were going to build a mall make it look like mansfield in canton although they're even though was there smack in the middle of the two cities i don't think it wanted to have the traffic of those two but you see route 83 becomes a two-lane highway now here's route three called cleveland road and it's kind of more of a scenic way to get here it's not really off a of freeway uh well if you, unless you take i-76 and it's, you get in the center of town and, and cleveland road becomes quimby avenue and market street and this little expressway here that's called the dix expressway and it was named after r victor dix the president or the owner of worcester republican publishing company which publishes the local newspaper known as the daily record some of you out of montana might know that uh, they own the TV station out of Great Falls. Then you come over to 585. This is Akron Road. Up here. Up here. You see Route 21. That used to be U.S. Route 21. It comes smack out of Cleveland. If you're traveling 77, you want to avoid Akron Cannon, you can take it 21. That's a straight shoot through Maslin. As you can see, it becomes it's pretty much a four lane. Right about here is where it turns into two down here in the bar but here's route 585 it, they call it akron road and it it used to be route 5 now where it ends here it goes into barberton it goes to northern and barberton and ends up in akron here's smithville this road here called smithville western takes you over to well that used to be madisonburg then they actually came officially uh, attached it to worcester in some time ago and then here's where it comes across route 83 there's a they put a they actually put a roundabout in here in 2016 now 83 would be the direct way to get to i-71 if you're going to the airport hawkins airport and here's 585 okay now this back orville road turns into porridge road and it, you see it dead ends at cleveland road where the hospital is, and they got the Cleveland Clinic. It used to be College Hill Shopping Center there. They go up this big hill, so you call that like the mil the Midtown Medical District. And they used to have a department store here called Buckeye Market. They used to have a Hawkins Market, um, locally owned store, and a Kmart was here for nearly forty years before it closed down. Then up here you had the IGA, and now it's a save a lot here. This is the main thoroughfare, U.S. Route 30. As you can see, you get it from Mansfield, and you come across. Here's pickup, pickup 250. This is uh, coming out of Ashland. It's now that's called Lincoln Way, West Lincoln Way, and to the north you have Lincoln Way West. You pick up 302. You pick up 301 from Illyria. Now they rebuilt this, as I you can see, late in 2005 and turned 30. The old 30, which is Lincoln Way, East Lincoln Way, into a county road. And when you get into Worcester, it becomes Pittsburgh Avenue. You cross the Norfolk Southern, and it becomes Liberty Street. 
down here. Down here, coming out of Dover, New Philadelphia. And coming out of Cambridge, head towards Canton, you get to Strasburg. There's a sign saying that uh, List Worcester is a as a destination city. Here's 250. That's old 21 there. And it comes out, it goes through Mallee and goes through Apple Creek. Now here, in 1980, they did a, they relocated 250. Now you see 83. There was some talk about, back in the 70s, about making 83 straight into, into Holmes County. But as you can, but they, that's never really been materialized. So let's go back up here. And there's the, the bypass and there's where it intersects 30. And now here, Madison Hill, that's where 302 begins. You go to the bottom of Madison Hill, it's Madison Avenue, come across the bypass, and that's where you see Ohio Agricultural Research Developmental Center, the, local, the Civic Auditorium. And here you've got where it's Madison Avenue actually goes to, veers to the left, and you got a and then Beaver Street, and then it turns into Burbank Road, and then 302 gets turns west at Liberty Street. Here's another one for you. This is called, I call this the Triway area, the Triway Local School District. You got Triway laying down here. You got a bowling alley. You got a drive through. You see where 3 comes up here, and you see Old 3. That's Old Columbus Road. That turns into Spurs Street, and then that ends at the Y with Madison Avenue and Market Street. In '95, and then where it get where three intersects with 30 and 250, it turns into Columbus Avenue, goes past the, past the fairgrounds. Uh, well, kind of up on the edge of the fairgrounds, and then you get and it just dead ends. You see a hospital. They don't see it mentioned the college, but yes, College of Worcester, and it covers about. I'd say about six blocks north of the downtown area. But everything pretty much headed north. That's where the high school is, where I got it marked on the corner of Oak Hill and Oldman. Mechanicsburg Road, another interesting one. It kind of comes out of nowhere and then intersects with some other city or some other roads to get into that northern part of Worcester. And then it ends up going to the, actually entering into Worcester. Oh, I forgot about Bowman Street. I forgot about Bowman Street. Just back over here for a minute. We're 585 ends. That's where the international headquarters of Rubbermaid used to be until they moved out of the city in 2003. Started out in 1922 as the Worcester Rubber Company. So they, they've been around for a century. You see, they turned into Bowman Street. Now, in 1976, it was a residential street pretty much, but 1976, they actually expanded Bowman Street to come out where Liberty Street and Old Mansfield Road is. That's another industrial park. That little bend there, they that's an, industri an industrial railroad track that in all the years I've been traveling back there, I've seen one train. One train all the, all that time. So, not many people probably... They, a lot of people probably view Worcester as right out of the middle. It's sitting there in the middle of nowhere. But to be honest with you, it's it may be considered off the beaten path, but it's not that far if you ever want to take a side trip.